Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and I wanted to thank you all for the commitment to your health and for flowing with me through the years whether you're, you've been with me from the beginning or you're new here on my channel. I just wanted to uh, first extend gratitude for your presence in my life and for bringing uh, your beauty into my life. And I am announcing the um, and, uh, two new uh, things on my website. One is we have now beginner schedules and the next is January will be soul coffee cups, very healing, but still dynamic enough so that in one class we can work on many layers. Uh, on the soul and on the body. So, so coffee cups, beginner schedule. I already have, I think, a month of beginner schedules. You can start from the very beginning or you can jump right in. The very beginning was slow, a slow build up, um, just the really f the foundations, explaining the poses in each class. Now it's becoming to be beginner coffee cups for the soul. I just shot uh, beginner coffee cup. Um, for negative thoughts, how to deal with negative thoughts and transform them. A very, very kind of metaphysical class. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to invite you on my website. I will be posting here as usual on a particular regular basis. And of course, every week a new schedule with, now it's like three new classes, uh, two intermediate uh, advanced and one beginner intermediate. And January will be coffee cup. So come to my website, join the beautiful family there. We're working on ourselves, on growing, tapping into a higher stream of consciousness. We are allowing for our chemical transformation to take place within our bodies. And I'll see you here, I'll see you there. Thank you and let's flow with strength and ease. All right, starting with small belly waves. So just pelvic tilts and a mini stomach vacuum. Engage the shoulders as well. And just feel, feel the pelvic floor, the fascia. Let's bring the hands over the head and continue a few more. Just imagine it, you can close your eyes and just imagine a wave. It doesn't matter how it looks externally. It's more about how it feels, connecting, engaging. As if you're really, really awakening the fascia, especially in the core area and let's reach side to side side to side really elongating and again feeling the core feeling the fascia all right arms out step your feet out and we're going to steady the hips and reach side to side reach reach A few more and now over the head, over the head, over the head, over the head. Great. Inhale at the front, reaching over the head. Exhale, folding. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog, inhale the right leg up. Step it through, high lunge. (sighs) 
Warrior theme. Coming up to standing, wrap your left leg around the right, left arm under, right over, cross, wrap, lift, sit. Release and move back through the motions, warrior three. High lunge, hands in prayer twist. And hands on the floor here. We're going to take the right leg up in plank and then pull it into the belly. Again, kind of in somatic way. So feel the fascia as you move. Open, pull it in. Open, really draw the knee in. One, two, rounding the back. Three, four, five, six, eight, ten, great, and push it back in down dog, take the left leg up, step it through high lunge, Steady the gaze, steady the breath. Anchor into the breath. Deepen the breath. And open the arms out, warrior three. Come up to standing, wrap it around. Right arm under, wrap, lift and sit. Lift the elbows and really soften the back of the shoulders, soften the gaze. Great, unwrap, warrior three. Step it back, hands in prayer twist. And reaching over the head, exhale. Moving with the left leg now. Bring it in, two, three, four, and step it back down dog let's bring the right hand to the left ankle look under opposite side look under and take a moment here a few breaths just to tune into your body your body is your guide your body is your guiding system it is your teacher It holds wisdom and integrates the light codes into itself, into its DNA. So it's a reflection of your soul. So tune in into the body for a moment. Allow everything to drop, drop away and just tune in into the feel of the body with gratitude, gratitude and love. Just feel it. Feel the body, feel your body. Give it a mental hug. Great, let's draw the knees on the ground. We're gonna go ahead with a few more knee tucks. So here we're gonna have the knees on the ground and we're just gonna Bring the right knee in round the back and drop it down and left. So every time you drop the knees down, you relax and you go in with even more power and more focus, more connection with each new lift. And let's go. 
one. Two, you can give it an arch in between. Three, like cat cow style. Four. Five, focus. Six. Now it is time to pendulum the knee, so reset. Again, close your eyes for just a brief moment and in a snap, tune into the body. You don't have to take a long time. It's a instantaneous lightning tuning. Great, and we're gonna lift the knees and pendulum them. So walk them a little closer to you and move them side to side, as the title suggests, as a pendulum. Ten. Twenty, great. All right, straighten the legs. Walk the hands to, to the back, to your legs, and give it a forward fold, a little stretch. You can move here a little bit. Walk your hands into down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through warrior one. Moving with the vinyasa. Feel the core in this standing pose. You can bring your hands onto the core and just create that feel by introducing also touch obliques just the muscle the fascia let's hug the knee into the front and step back warrior one and hug two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, then hold it, and we're going to take the left hand behind us in a twist. And release, step it back, warrior one. <sighs> Vinyas. <sighs> Down dog. Let's inhale the left leg, warrior one. Again, feel the core and feel the body as a whole. What it is to be embodied, to have this beautiful dance of soul in a physical body in oneness, in union, unison, integrated. And downloading the light codes that are coming onto earth now with the shaman resonance raising we're bringing all these light codes higher consciousness light into our physical expression 
into our bodies, physical soul, etc., all the bodies. <sighs> Holding light. On our way to being light, we're becoming the holders of more and more, the containers of more and more light. <sighs> and let's hug the knee and step it back into warrior one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it, let's take the right hand back, look past your thumb, past your hand, lengthen, finding length, step it back, plank, Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, feel your breath as this invisible thread, the integration of soul and body. And see yourself, feel yourself as much more than the persona that you associate with. The personality, the name, the role that you have here. See yourself as this expanded consciousness being beyond just the physical perception, a light being. that is downloading those codes, those light codes here into the physical, bringing them here on earth. Let's take the right leg up, warrior two. Let's reverse the warrior, looking up. And Side angle. And let's bring the left hand down into side plank. Knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, vinyasa. Take the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. Feel the breath and Feel the dance between the body and the soul and the oneness. How the soul occupies the body and the body is the mirror expression of the soul and there is this duality yet beyond this duality, this oneness of everything and it's all the same. When you close the eyes, just feel the body and what it is beyond the body. We're not just feeling the very dense layers of the body, but we're feeling it all. It's beyond the 3D language, it's beyond words, but we all understand 
each other because of the meaning between the words, behind the words, behind the language, the intention behind it. Reverse it, side angle. Bring the right hand down, side plank. Knee tucks. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and plank. Here we're going to step the right foot in and circle the right hand, plank, left foot in, circle the left, and continue at your own pace for ten reps. Three, four, Feel the core. All right, plank. We're going to bring the right knee to the right elbow, left to the left. You can rest the shoulders for a moment. And here we're gonna have high knees. So we're going to take it up, maybe above the elbow and up. Opposite alternating, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, intense, ten. Take a break and we'll do ten more. Let's go. Not a long break. And down dog. Walk your hands to the feet, to the back of the mat, and take a little forward fold break. Decompressing the spine. And again, feel the body. Feel the soul integration into the body. There is no separation. Instead of feeling body and soul, feel them as one. You can feel the layers, you can feel the integration, the dance the oneness and chair it is a feeling beyond words the essence of who you are beyond the soul the spirit and we have this visceral experience of it inhale reaching over the head arch lift lengthen exhale folding and walk to the front. Down dog. Step the right foot to the front and thread the left leg through and give it a knee tuck and step it back. Left foot to the front and to the side, so the outside of the mat and you're gonna give it a knee tuck and back. Right, outside the mat, knee tuck. Left, knee tuck. Right, squeeze everything. I should do a class, squeeze everything. <laughs> Just a very descriptive title. A few more, keep walking, keep squeezing. Great. And 
down onto the knee, so force, <sighs> open, cat cow, widen the upper back, feel the widening as if you're bringing space, ether in there, expanding the space between the cells, between the fibers, bringing spirit, emptiness, Space, openness, all right, child's pose. <laughs> Plank, same thing, right foot steps out, but this time you're going to thread it across, step it back, opposite side, thread it across. Squeeze everything again. Core really engaged. Last one. And bring your feet at the front, sit onto your body and roll into plow, however you're gonna roll in whatever stages. And breathe, softening everything. Shim in the shoulders to deepen it. And again, feel your spine unraveling. Unraveling so that you can bring in even more light coat as your spine aligns more. Imagine it as that spiral, the way the spiral of DNA is, the Kundalini spiral. So imagine the same energetics around the spine. and see it unraveling wherever there is knots and nicks and bumps and obstruction. Just imagine it unraveling so that it can be a receptor of higher consciousness of light code, transmitter of light. Surrender and feel the adjustment here. And shoulders tense. And you can drop your knees down by the ears. And roll out. You can rock up or come up, soles of the feet together, 
and just feel the flush of energy when you come out of plow and also everything flowing the passage is opening so everything flowing energy flowing through you cosmic energy flowing through you or Gaia to cosmic with the spine in between and transmuting that energy and you can close your eyes and see yourself as the receiver transmitter receptor of cosmic wisdom the flow the cosmic flow the energy is this beautiful particle in the universe part universe yourself a, a whole entire universe yourself and feel that interconnectedness with the all great let's drop the knees to one side foot to knee and you can bring your hands behind look behind and feel that again unraveling soften all right two insights and you're going to move towards your knees and back and feel that length and unraveling great bring your legs in front of you let's bring our hands behind our heels on the ground forehead either on the ground or towards the ground again softening relaxing into it change One more time on each side. Change. Come up and take plank. Take the right foot through. High lunge. Warrior three. High lunge, warrior three, high lunge, warrior three, come up to standing, open the knee out, three pose. Not a common pose in coffee cups, coffee cups are a little faster pace, but this one is its own soulful being. A lot of pause here in this class, a lot of <sighs> emptiness between each moment. Great, find your way back into plank and take the left leg to the front, high lunge, warrior three, high lunge, warrior three. High lunge, warrior three, and we'll come up to standing, open the knee out, three, three pose. Again, see yourself as this energetic entity, energy extending roots energetic roots down so the roots are branching the roots are as big as the crown the roots are branching deep and wide and sourcing energy vitality 
from Gaia and also her consciousness from Gaia. Gaia is a very elevated consciousness herself and she's on top of that rising as consciousness. So connecting to Gaia is connecting to an enlightened being. And the same thing above, we're expanding into the cosmos, branches out, energetic branches, filling this dense And from here, we're gonna find plie. And let's post in plie a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, feel it. Seven, five, eight, nine, ten. Side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reaching one, side to side. Three, four, five, six, elongating, eight, nine, ten, and now reaching with a little bit of a twirl or twist. Great, face forward and let's take pigeon on the left side for me. Open up the chest. And lower down. Again, softening and feeling the surrender in the muscles, in the joints, in the bones, in the structure, in the energetic structure. See yourself flushed with crystalline energy rinsing every part, every part of the body, every tissue and cell, every fiber. And open here. You can flex the glutes and it will give you a little more stretch in the hip flexor in the front. Beautiful. And changing sides. Keeping the spine elongated. Finding one place in your body that is resisting softness and expansion and going there consciously. Just one. So we make it as a simple exercise rather than trying to completely soften every part of your body. Find one place and go in there. And from that place, everything will spread out. Is it your jaw, your shoulder, your hip, your spine, your foot, your toe? Just one place that resists. It could be your breath, often time it is the breath. It could be the mind, and then you're gonna use the power of imagination to soften the mind. As if you're flowing in the universe with no resistance immersing yourself in the heart frequencies. 
being a body of light, a higher frequency being, an expanded consciousness beyond the constraints of the 3D matrix, a being of light. And let's flex the glutes and lift the chest up. And as you extend the tailbone slightly down, you're going to feel this beautiful stretch in the hip flexor. Without pushing it or going too far, just a very pleasant stretch. Stay there, something that you can hold for a little longer so it's not too deep. Just enough to feel it uh, as a pleasant flush of energy flooding you with pleasant waves. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna sit down. And we'll lay down. And you can drop your knees to the right and to the left. them back up a few pelvic tilts <sighs> pelvic tilt release pelvic tilt release a few more <sighs> pulling the belly in with each pelvic tilt it's almost like an ab exercise here. A few more, make them, not about the move really, the move is somewhat small, it's just the igniter of energy flow, so it's moving that whole core connection, it is the push or the initiator. So every time you go into a pelvic tilt, your whole core connects. Feel the core connecting, the fibers, the muscles, everything. I'm making the pelvic tilt smaller and smaller, but the core connection deeper and deeper. Keep going in somatic ways until the body tells you exactly how to do it. Really pulling everything in towards the middle and up. Also using Mulabanda. Beautiful, and you can give yourself a hug. Open the legs out, start pose, so reach over the head and we're gonna push into the right hand and into the left foot, a big diagonal stretch. Put a lot of energy into it, as if two people are pulling you, the left foot and the right hand creating length along that meridian or along that diagonal, I should say, and then the other way. Excellent. All right, just rest now. 
stay in the moment, flow through the cosmos, flow into the light, be one with that universal consciousness, with the light, be love.